To find the oxidation numbers for each element in NaHCO3, we'll use these rules here in a periodic table. We can see that NaHCO3 is a neutral compound because there's no plus or minus charge out here like you'd have with an ion. And in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So we'll use that to help find the oxidation numbers in NaHCO3. So we go down the list and we see that group one, that has a plus one oxidation number. On the periodic table, sodium, that's in group one. So it'll have an oxidation number of plus one. Hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus one as well when it's bonded to nonmetals. And this hydrogen is part of the HCO3 minus polyatomic ion. So we're going to call that a plus one as well. Go down. Oxygen is minus two with a few exceptions. So each oxygen is going to be minus two. We don't know the carbon though. So we can set up an equation to find the oxidation number of the carbon. We could say one plus one plus, since we don't know the carbon, we'll call it X, minus two, but we have three oxygens, so we'll multiply that by three. All of that has to equal zero because this is a neutral compound. If you solve for X, you end up with X equals a positive four, and that's the oxidation number on the carbon here in NaHCO3. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the ones that we knew, and we use that in the fact that neutral compounds, all the numbers add up to zero to find the one we didn't know, the carbon. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for NaHCO3, and thanks for watching.